update one on Cyclone Flamboyant, which has formed in the South Indian Ocean. Initially starting in the Jakarta region, it's now entered the Southwest Indian Ocean region, administered by Meteo France. At 6.30 a.m. Cocos Islands time, April 29th, it had winds of 50 miles an hour and a pressure around 995. It's at 11.4 south, 88.1 degrees east, and no warnings are in effect. However, it is a pretty broad system, and you can see its effects on the Cocos Islands may be being felt. However, most of the storm uh, in, in its track trajectory there is going to stay well out at sea and is going to do absolutely nothing and then turn extra tropical uh, much further south towards the end of this coming week. You can just about see Diego Garcia up on the top left there as well shouldn't be affected by this one. So here it is right now in the middle of the ocean. It's a stage two on the CDPS and it's a moderate tropical storm according to Meteo France. No warnings are in effect at this time and the storm is not likely to affect any land areas. Um, any effects that are being felt on the Cocos Islands, however little, will be um, leaving them. So here's what it's looking like in the next few days. You can see the chances of low tropical storm conditions. Rain associated with the storm could affect uh, the Cocos Islands slightly. Uh, some slight to moderate rain perhaps, but the main part of the storm is staying well away from anything. Uh, one or two small hints that the extratropical remnants of the storm might get to Australia, but at the moment that is speculative and actually it's pretty unlikely at this time. Uh, looking at the rest of the ocean there towards the end of the week, not much going on as the season winds down. The sea surface temperatures, uh, around 26, 27 degrees Celsius where the storm is right now, they'll fall to below that threshold 26 degrees in about two or three days or less. Wind shear, uh, it's a small beacon in a sea of very high wind shear right now, high to the north, high to the south, where the storm is right now, it's somewhat in the middle, uh, but it's really going to be on the increase as Flamboyan moves towards the south. Here's the latest imagery from the Himawari 8 satellite, the last 12 frames, which covers something like an hour or a little bit more than that, two hours worth of imagery. Uh, you can see the various infrared angles on this storm and how it's been progressing. Uh, it seems to have two convective pulses going on at the moment on either side of the centre of the storm and you can see how broad it is as well. That will probably prevent it from intensifying rapidly uh, although it still could get to and is forecasted to by some agencies to get to Category 1 status on the Sapphire Simpson scale. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't so far. Uh, Force 13 all in text. You can also like our Facebook page and you can send us a tweet and follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at Force 13. You can also add our Skype account under the same name and my personal account on Discord, Fool13 at extension 9094 for tropical weather chat. There will probably also be updates from our Australian and Oceaneer counterparts, Force 13 Australia and Oceaneer, which is also online. Take a look.